What's up, everybody? I'm Aaron. I'm Alex. And we are Nice Syria. And today, we're just continuing our little video series we're doing. And we're going to discuss our song, Awake. Awake's like a very important piece, kind of, in our relationship. Uh, in 2015, we had a we had a record offer, uh, which, making a short story, uh, we declined it. Uh, it wasn't uh, what we were looking for. And when we came back, it was disheartening, uh, as, any, as anybody would think. Because, you know, when you get a call and you're like, hey... You let the sign, you guys. You're like, yes, we made it, <laughs> you know. And uh, yeah. so we came back, and we took a little bit of a hiatus uh, yeah. for about for about a year. It was about a year. About a year, year and a half or so. Uh, in that time, you moved. Yeah, I moved to Idaho for I think it was there. For, not even a year. I think it was there for eight months. It wasn't too long. Did we talk much? We didn't talk. We didn't much. talk. We kind of talk at all. We needed the break. We needed a break. We we'll be a honest. Split a yeah. little time apart. As good know. looking as he is, yeah. I was over it for a little while. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was done. Uh -huh. it was and like, now we're back together. Yeah, you know, we're yeah. just mad for each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, so while he while he was gone, uh, I get a phone call and uh, it's it's our producer and he's like, "Hey guys, uh, so your song's been considered or is is being considered." Uh, for this for this film, he told me all about it, told me the name of it, The Bad Samaritan. So I look it up, and sure enough, like I said the director Dean Devlin. He made his directorial <laughs> debut uh, with his movie called Geo Storm, and uh, which starred Gerard Butler, produced uh, both Independence Days, Stargate, and Godzilla from the '90s, uh, as well as your favorite. Eight-Legged Freaks. Forget all those other movies. It's all about Eight-Legged Freaks. <laughs> and uh, the, this film uh, was a big-budget film. Uh, it was released all over the world. Uh, lead actor is, uh, he was in uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of David, Fire. David Tennant? Da yeah, da David Tennant. I think it's David Tennant. So it was a huge deal. And uh, yeah, so I kind of sit on it for a minute, because uh, we've, we've been through, as a band and our songs, a lot of this. We've had workings with or dealt with American Horror Story, a major automobile commercial and uh every time uh, it just gets to the end and it doesn't work out for us but it's cool we have these opportunities it's awesome and cool. um so this one gets to the point where it's contract time mm -hmm. so when you were up in idaho you got a phone call i did i got a phone call from uh, our producer early in the morning it was like 10 in the morning <laughs> <laughs> i just woke up i was like why am i up this early this is insane but i did it don't judge you us know? Yeah. All right, don't judge us. <laughs> We're up very late. We are. If you're a musician, you know. You're your, a tweaker. Your brain never <clears throat> stops. It's hard to sleep. Yeah, you're the most creative in, at like 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah, that's Trust true. Me. Yeah, just wait till you hear about us in our underwear at 2 in the morning. Anyway, Oh, continue. yeah, that'll be on one of these yeah. things. So he calls me up and says, it's a done deal. We're in the film. We're going to be in the trailer. Needs the contracts within a half hour. So I call everyone. We sign everything, get all the information to them. And uh, we're super excited, Aaron. And I start talking again. And yeah, a ton. We start. I, I move back. Yeah, we start working this new album. Yeah, yeah. yeah we start writing. Yeah. As I'm in Idaho, we start writing a new track, which will be on this new record coming out. And uh, so that was cool. We started writing again. So wait, you know, it's done. Yeah, while we're waiting stuff. for this deal to happen, we, yeah. we got like studio plans. Like, dude, let's let's like repaint this oh, place get some and money finally. Yeah, and I moved back because we kind of you know I wanted to be back with everyone while we're going through all this stuff and who knows what's going to happen they were they ask for stuff as you do this you know like they want things to be tweaked in the song yeah, a little bit here yeah. and there. so i just wanted to be around we end up uh constantly looking <laughs> for information on the movie and the trailer when it's going to come out because they don't the publishing company that we go through and probably any, any publishing company for that matter no one has any information for you ever they just don't care it's just like when it pops up You'll see it. Yeah, they're like, here, guys, here's your check. Or they'll be like, yeah, here's air. <laughs> yeah. So we thought this one was a done deal because we signed contracts and every and any and everything, and uh, <laughs> it just doesn't matter. In the industry, yeah. <laughs> you can sign. It doesn't matter. You just, once you see it with your own eyes, it's in the film. Then that's, it's good. That's when you can believe that's, it. That's, that's when, when you, you know. Believe it. You know, um... So we end up constantly looking for this trailer, and uh, finally it comes out. I call up Aaron, and I am excited. I'm like, he comes to the studio. Hold on a minute, like, I will be there. Ah. I hit play when he comes over, and we both cried together. We held, we did, we we held, held, each, held each other. We held each other for a while. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, we have no idea. Even to this day, we don't know. No what one happened. knows. No. The, 
you sign a contract. Yeah. You think it's you think it's a done deal. Yep. Nope. But hey, that's not why we do this. Nah, we don't care. I mean, it sucked. Yes, yeah, it, it did complaining. suck. It's just you go you you get uh, something really cool like that happens. You know, with your music that you're just doing yes, on your own. Yeah, that's an yeah. exciting thing. And of course we're gonna be excited. Yeah, anyone it's your be, work. Anyone would be freaking excited. Yeah. You know? So we're super excited. And uh it was a letdown, but it was cool. You know, we looked at the the glasses half full or whatever you say. <laughs> yeah. It did get us back together. So we did write an album, and we're super excited. We learned a ton, built our own studio, did so much stuff. Maybe we'll talk about it later in a future video. And uh, so we're trying to keep these kind of short, and I don't know if you guys like these kind of stories, if you want us to talk about more about <laughs> yeah. personal things, like or more about the songs themselves or studio stuff. We don't know. Which I'm going to do in a minute. I'm going to talk about lyrics. Yeah, anyway. lyrics, that, that stuff's always cool. I know you guys <laughs> love my no, lyrics. Yeah, lyrics are fun. <laughs> they make me fall asleep, but they're cool. So if there's anything you guys like us to talk about or show you, we could do more of that stuff. We're Drop just, it. Yeah, we're just starting this series. Comments, comment, like, thought, subscribe, all yeah, that nonsense. Tell your friends. We just thought we'd start sharing more uh, with you guys on our on our page because we just don't do anything. Eleven songs. We're doing eleven songs. Yeah, we got a one we had just. Uh, written what like a week or two ago we've been yeah i still out. haven't named it i, I wrote my, the lyrics are done but i haven't decided what i want to yeah we threw it in we had 10 songs we finished they're being mixed and we've got a couple back that sound amazing and then we threw this one in last second because it's very relevant to what's going on right what's now going on yeah right now with all the covid stuff and everything and, and now these riots and now the, yeah the riots it's a very relevant song for for change and stuff like that why can't you stop So Awake, uh, lyrically, is a little bit different than my most songs. Uh, it's not as spiritually involved. Uh, this is more based on you, the individual, and you know, believing in yourself, and standing up for, for the things that you believe in, and uh, really, really not succumbing like to power and the mentality that you gotta be like a pillar to society. You know, uh, you have a, a job, and it's what you're supposed to do. You know, this is what you do because what we do. You know, you hear like people have there's some people out there that have that mentality. You know, and um, that's definitely not uh, the way I've ever I've ever been. You know, and, and I hate seeing it in people. You know, conformity. So awake is similar to that in the way that it's I, it's a conversation between awakened you and like a dictator. And I have that, so like when I'm writing the song, I have that type of like uh, imagery in my mind. So there's like a dictator, there's you, and then there's like the mob of people behind you, all these meek sheep or, or people that are too afraid to speak up. And you're there like, like at this, we'll say a procession or something, or let's pretend you're there, just make it, you know, you're, you're worshiping this person, right? And so that's how the song starts with how do I start? Where do I begin? You know, and you're sitting and you're looking at this and you're thinking about all these things, you know, you're, and you're saying, we've never done anything. And we're just waiting patiently. And then the dictator stands up and he points at you because you're the one that's starting this, this belief or your, your awakening. And he is afraid of what happens if the rest of you awaken. And he says, he has no name because he has to, you know, he has to destroy you, right? That's the only way to get rid of that type of thinking. And he says, you know, and then the sheep in the song repeat back to him. After he says he has no name, they repeat back, we aren't anything. And then he goes on to say, and he can't complain when I give him everything. You know, because he thinks they're responsible for everything that you have. So then the song in the chorus gets to the part like where you kind of like awaken. You says like, you know, what do I see another man? He's like me. So you have someone else who all of a sudden is waking up to this mentality, you know, because they see the courage and 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 the truth and and you and and that and that type of thinking so now you're talking like to the dictator you know and you're like you know I'm not another mine and your lost cause I won't be one of your pawns or subjects you know and you turn you tell everyone else you know so raise a fist up high and stand up for what's right and you turn you tell and you're telling him now the dictator you know that I am the king without us you have nothing so fuck what you think but we're not on our knees worshiping a fucking wannabe anyway so that's uh what i wrote the song about i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy the track
That's cool. Cool. You gonna say roll the tape? Roll the tape. <laughs> hey, one of these days we'll get a tramp stamp on my back, and I'll just walk up and just say roll the tape. Say, I am the king. Yes, I am. 